Growth is necessary. Let me say it again. Growth is necessary. Active growth. If this ain't it, if you've never heard this quote, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is my favorite. Okay, well, the third quote is, sometimes happiness is a feeling and sometimes it is a decision. And if you try to remember that, that, be, that could be your secret gift where every day is a new outlook because you remember that not everybody gets another day. All of these quotes just, <clears throat> they do something to me. They do something. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about some of my favorite quotes. It wouldn't be my top, but these are the ones that stuck out the most to me that I really like to look back on and refer back to. Today has been a struggle. It's been a little difficult to make this video. <sighs> We're going to put all that behind us. It is a new minute in our day and we will appreciate this new minute. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, oh, actually, you know what? First I need some lip gloss. Lip gloss. Ooh. Have you ever had your lip gloss like automatically pop out and then spew out everywhere? That's my life. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first quote is going to be, I already know what giving up feels like. I want to see what happens if I don't. I like this one specifically because this reminds me of my diet. <laughs> Trying to change your lifestyle is super difficult no matter what. And especially when you're trying to make better decisions on eating healthier options this is it right here that's what this quote reminds me of and of course I will list everything I'm using and these quotes in the description box below second quote is that ugly part of your story is going to be the most powerful part of your testimony I like this one, obviously, I like all of them. <laughs> I like this one especially because I feel like this one speaks to my soul. You know, have you ever had like really bad days where you're just like stuck in the moment and or stuck in the day and you just can't seem to get past an incident or something somebody said to you or a text message, maybe something at work, you know, whatever it is. So it just makes me remember and think about, okay, well, even though this is a bad time right now, or I had a disagreement, doesn't mean that I have to stay in this mood. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The third quote is, Sometimes happiness is a feeling and sometimes it is a decision. I like this one probably out of all of them. This is probably top three because I feel like a lot of people forget that they can choose to look at things on the bright side. They can choose to be happy. And I feel like a lot of people forget that. If you get into a car accident, just like a minor car accident. You can choose, hey, I'm going to look to the bright side that I'm still alive, no one got hurt, and insurance will help me figure this out. That's why it's it. You know, obviously easier said than done. But you can practice. Practice makes perfect with everything you do with everything and anything that you do. All right, fourth quote is, don't let your mind bully your body. Oof, this is a good one, a really good one if you're struggling 
especially because of Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever the case may be. You see other people reaching their goals and you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to eat better, and you feel like it's not working. And of course, we compare ourselves to every other human out there because it's natural. Fifth quote. To love yourself as you are is a miracle and to see yourself is to have found yourself for now. And now is all we have and love is who we are. I know that one sounds confusing, so I'm gonna read that one again. To love yourself as you are is a miracle and to see yourself is to have found yourself for now. And now is all we have and love is who we are. I think that one's cute, it's simple. Just reminds you, like do you, be you, and love yourself doing it. Number six, you are allowed to be both a masterpiece and a work in progress. Oof, I really like this one because I feel like no matter what, we will never stop growing, we will never stop changing, and we're always going to be trying new things, working on ourselves. Even if you don't realize it, you're growing. Just in case no one told you. I know there are people out there, because nobody ever told me until I got older and had to realize, I was like, oh, okay. Number seven, we cannot become what we want by remaining what we are. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, well, I guess it's obvious. I just like all of them. I like all of them. It's hard not to say you like it when you like all of them. <laughs> I, I just don't know. I don't know. And I will leave down in the description box where I got these quotes from and where or who said them, I guess. And quote number eight is what you aren't changing, you're choosing. Remember that. Oh, all of these quotes just, <clears throat> they do something to me. They do something. You know when you hear something just speaks to your soul? Yeah, I feel like all these quotes do that for me. And maybe none of these quotes do that for you. That is okay too. These don't have to feel the same way when everybody hears them. Does that make sense? You can hear all these quotes and feel something different about each and every one you can feel more passionate than i do you can feel less it doesn't matter quote number nine i do not fix my problems I fix my thinking, then my problems fix themselves. If this ain't it, if you've never heard this quote, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is my favorite. Okay, well, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm jumping the gun on that because they're, again, they're all my favorite. But this one, if I had to pick one quote to share with, a thousand people or a million people or a vast majority of people it would be this one it would be this one the, like speechless let, let me read it again i do not fix my problems i fix my thinking then my problems fix themselves it's all how you view your problem if you say hey I don't have a job, right? Say you don't have a job and you're applying. You apply to, let's say, four places. And then only one calls you back, but it's not the one you wanted, right? So then you're all upset and you're like, this is not gonna help me get to where I'm going in life. I won't make as much money at this job than I would at my other job that I was really hoping I would get right okay well 
Say you keep your thinking at that level and you don't do anything about it. Well, that's the problem. Fix your thinking and then the problems will fix themselves. Not really, but you, you get what it's trying to say. You get, you get it. Quote number 10, life is a gift. Wake up every day and realize that. This one I feel like needs no explanation. Just try to remember. Yeah, I'm gonna get one anyways. Just try to remember that some people don't wake up. Some people don't get to see another day. Some people don't get to hug their family or kids, cousins, mom, dad, brothers, and sisters. They don't get that opportunity. And if you try to remember that, that, be, that could be your secret gift, where every day is a new outlook because you remember that not everybody gets another day. I wish I can change my eyebrow color because it's uh, black. I just don't think it suits me. Quote number 11. I have no special talents. I am only passionately curious. Ooh. And this one um, I have wrote down, Albert Einstein. I just think that is genius. Like, who says that? Good old Albert. Okay, so quote number 12 is when you are willing to feel it, you can heal it. I think this one reminds me to always stay focused on what I'm feeling. And if I can remember, hey, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling that, then I can work on that, I can change that. Number 13, growth is often uncomfortable, messy, and full of feelings you weren't expecting but it's necessary. Growth is necessary. Let me say it again. Growth is necessary. Active growth. Like, what are these people doing? I just don't, I don't understand it. Number 14. Never trust your fears. They don't know your strength. Imagine if you had this one posted up on your mirror every day when you woke up, you went to the bathroom and saw this quote. I'm gonna read it again. Never trust your fears. They don't know your strengths. <clears throat> like, how amazing is that? Number 15, I can choose how I want to perceive every situation. That is a really good one because you don't always have to keep your mind going in the direction it automatically goes first. You know, if it automatically goes to a negative thought, you don't have to stay in that thought. You can choose to think another thought and go positive. Number 16, if they say it's impossible, it's impossible for them, but not for you. Mm. I loved this one, obviously, I love all of them and this makes me think like that just because you hear of someone trying to succeed at something and they fail it doesn't mean that you can't do it either you know a lot of people think oh well such and such tried for this I don't think you know it didn't work out for them I don't think it's gonna work out for me that is not always the case. Try it anyways. I mean, this this isn't the quote, but even if you fail the first time or second time or third time, keep trying until you feel like it either isn't working out for you, like it's not your thing, or if it is your thing and you know it's your thing, just keep going, never give up. Number 17, be obsessed with your own potential basically believe in yourself you can do anything you want to do and don't let anyone tell you that you can't if you want to do it then do it do it 
Number 18, talk to yourself like someone you love. This kind of refers back to my intro video to my channel. If you love yourself, why wouldn't you treat yourself with respect? You know, it sounds simple, but when you think about it, mm, because in my first video, I asked if you love yourself as much as your best friend, do you treat yourself like you treat your best friend? And if the answer is no, you're in the right place because we all need to remember to treat ourselves with respect. We need to remember to love ourselves. I feel like we just forget about ourselves and we're always focused on other people, whether it's our friends, family, significant other. We need to remember to treat ourselves with respect and love. Number 19, I never lose. I either win or I learn. This quote could probably be for the people who struggle inside their head, just being realistic. If they struggle with being stubborn, always wanting to be right, you know you got that one person. Hopefully it's just one, it's not multiple. Does anyone else struggle with lipstick? Or is it just me? I think it's because I have tiny lips. Has anyone pinched their eyelid in this? I have. My name is Holly and I am guilty of pinching my eyelid with the eyelash curler. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, number 20. Yesterday is heavy. Put it down. I feel like this describes 2020. All the way. You know you can hear something at a certain time in your life and it just doesn't click with you but then you hear it maybe a year, two years, three years later, you hear that same quote and all of a sudden it just makes sense. Sometimes we're not in the right mental space to hear a quote or to hear positive advice or feedback, but later on when you're in a good place, you receive the information better. So I wanna keep this an ongoing series, so stay tuned, I hope you enjoyed. And like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye. I don't cook. I don't clean. What can I tell you? I got to swing. Okay, I know I'm not the only one. I'm just not that big on lashes. Like, I'll put them on every now and then for, like, special occasions. The last time I wore them was for my 30th birthday photo shoot. Super fun, super amazing. I thought they looked kind of spidery, but I thought I went with the flare. I thought I went with the look. But other than that, I really like my normal mascara. But yes, I think we're done. I don't know if I want to put lipstick on or not. Lipstick. <laughs> I'm wearing lipstick. If I want to put on lip gloss or not. I'm kind of loving this matte look. Feel so fall like. Mm. I already know what giving up feels like. I don't want to see what happens. I don't. <laughs> mm, let's do it again. Oh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Yes, I swear. Yes, I swear. Giving you everything that's yours to me. Yes, I swear. My coffee got me feeling hyped. Have you ever tried to stop drinking coffee and you couldn't? Yeah. All right, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? I don't think that that doesn't fit with the theme of the video. <laughs> I love a good smoky eye and good blown out hair. Mm. Fall mocha baby. <laughs> well, 
Anyways, goodbye. <laughs>